Hey guys, this is Dillpill. I'm going to show you a tutorial on the uh, program I found called Graphics Gale. Uh, I use it pretty much primarily for gr um, pixel art. So, there's a free US version and a like uh, version for Asia that costs $20. Just get the free edition and f when you're doing pixel art, there is no difference that I have discovered so far at least. So um, you can just uh, find it. You can get it off their site, but their site is totally um, Chinese, except for a few like download here kind of things. But it's still really hard to do. So just sure it's uh, sorry, cannot type. Just search that graphic scale free U.S. edition. There's tons of them all over the internet. They're legal. They're fine. There's not any sort of pirating going on at all. So uh, just grab one of those. There, it opens up super quick. You just want to uh, come up here, create a new image. You can go into file and check everything out. These are old things I've been working. It saves those. Uh, there's just tons of things that you can do in this program, and it's really small. So there's no reason not to get it. Uh, when you hit new, pixel art mainly, you're going to want to go down to 8-bit because if you're making um, pixel art for games or anything, you're going to want it to be as small as possible. And in 8-bit, this is pretty much a basic palette that you get in 8-bit. Um, you can, like, 24-bit, that is, like, high res that it, you can, I guess, if you want to. But 2D art, really, you're only going to need 8-bit. These are how many pixels wide it's going to be. Um, 1024 by 768 is full screen. So if you're making a desktop background, you want to do that. But then you're not doing pixel art and you're probably not watching uh, this video. So the if you're new, I recommend going 30 by 30. This is just a small, up here it's going to be really tiny. Just extend that out. Put it in between these. Alright, now I'm going to talk about the different uh, little windows it gives you. There's the uh, toolbars up here where you can do pretty much everything. These are for uh, GIF images. All these little movie ones. Uh, everything else it applies to as well. All these are for everything. There's some confusing ones that, like this one, selection by color. Sometimes it screws you up. But uh, I don't recommend using that. I recommend just uh, using rectangular uh, selection, which is just this kind of thing. Oh, and first, it's going to be really tiny down there. You can probably barely see it. Get this uh, magnifying glass and just left click it until it um, covers your screen there, like this. Uh, rectangular selection is just like uh, boxes. If you're confused too, uh, when you do it, right click outside of it to make it go away. Because if you click out here, left clicking, I'm left clicking all over right now, nothing happens. So you gotta right click to get it away. That stumped me for like 10 minutes. Uh, magic wand tool, if, you, if you've ever used Photoshop, it's the same thing. It just selects all of a color usually, or all of a certain area, close colors. Um, the image mover will just move it around if it's too big, if you zoom in really close. Like now you have these little bars that you can use to go around, or you can use the this and you can move it around like that. See how this is moving? Uh, I like to keep it so you can see the entire thing, especially since it's so small. Uh, this is your pen. It'll go one pixel. See, in 30 by 30, each pixel is huge. So you can only color one of these boxes in one color, each of them. So in pixel art, also, you want to keep it uh, as minimal as you want your number of colors that you're using. Um, and this is your frame palette. Unless you're making a GIF image, which I've only made a few, you're not going to use this at all. The layer is pretty complicated too. In normal images you don't need that at all. Uh, and this is your uh, preview box in pixel art 2. That's really tiny. Um, unless you're making an icon you won't really need that. And this. This is your best friend in pixel art. Uh, see how I go over these? You can use the arrow keys like I'm doing right now to move around. You can color. You can see the image on there. 
just like that and if I zoom way out you can still see it just like that in the uh, in that see how tiny it is in over there but in here you can see it for making like perfect lines stuff like that it is really really a cool tool that's mostly why I like this uh, this program so and then it also has a uh, text here another cool thing uh, you have to load your fonts into it which is a little obnoxious but it has all your defaults you can uh, most fonts you just install I have had an issue with one or two where it doesn't go in here and I had to uninstall it install it a couple times for it to work um, but I have only used uh, the font um, a couple times in huge like uh, um, desktop background sort of things and see be, this is why because in pixel art that's really big and that's actually a really small size like even if you go down like 10 it's still because it takes up so many pixels to make that H it's gonna be that big no matter what so it's cool that it has a font but for pixel art you mostly won't need it uh, the circles too it's not gonna be a perfect circle if in pixel art see that because it can only make those pixels so perfect circles are not gonna happen you can see it in the preview it looks a lot better from farther away but uh, still you can see those little divots there that's not a perfect circle it works in the games you can make a a pretend curve but it's never going to be perfect uh... the uh, connect line feature is cool you can do this you can really see the uh... pixelation though but that is what pixel art is awesome for and if you're still confused on what pixel art is just search it on the internet Pixel art is uh, like Mario and Luigi kind of things. How you can kind of, they look really like boxy. That's pixel art. Like, um, I'll open. I'll open one for you that I've made. Like, I'll go down to my little ship. Alright, like this little ship. It looks good over here, right? It looks like a little spaceship. And when you zoom in on it, though, like if you're putting in the game, you see how boxy that is. Like that would be Mario size. You can tell that it's pixel art. But uh, it's it's kind of a classic thing for arcade games, and it's really fun. And it's not that hard. Like a lot of people say, it takes a lot of skill. I'm pretty new to it, and uh, I've made some decent ones so far. And yeah, so you can all do it. It's just fun little thing. And then it works really well when you have um, for uh, 2D games and also just backgrounds in 3D games. It's a really fun thing to do and like just your spare time. It's cool. Um, thanks for watching the uh, t this tutorial. I'll be coming out with more graphic scale tutorials on how to actually make your um, pixel art. So stay tuned.